longtime neighbor brought Rick to my house, and Rick was going through a divorce. I invited Rick to stay in the spare bedroom. I didn't know he had a different side. I only feel badly that I helped perpetuate his freedom. It's really sad how these guys work society, how they are able to exist amongst us and constantly count on the charity and goodwill of people. We use the map to identify the exact spot on the side of the house where McLean had indicated on the treasure map that something was buried. We called in a special forensics team. Unfortunately, when they dug it up, there was nothing there, but there was an indentation in the ground that showed that a container had been buried there, just as he described in the treasure map. Our best guess is that he hid some money or maybe some other important documents in there to try to keep him away from law enforcement. Once he decided to leave the house where he was staying, he dug it up and took it with him. The hardest part about this case is that I know after nine years that this guy is still out there. His use for the Jehovah's Witness Church was his access to victims. There are several other churches and, and organizations in the country that would take him in, that would give him similar access to victims. What most people don't understand about pedophiles is the depth of their cunning. You have to live in society while you're molesting your best friends, your neighbors, or your relatives' children. They're the vampires of our children that live amongst us. I figured they would find Rick. I didn't think it would be 10 years later. We're still wondering, you know, where is he? Are we going to find him? We don't even know how many kids he's molested over the last however many years. Best case scenario that, that could happen is he's caught as soon as possible trial, life in prison. And prison population has a way of taking care of business. Well, Sid's been gone for 30 years. The things that he's missed out on while Thane's out there and enjoying his life such as it is, no justice in that at all. This unsolved murder has just been agonizing for us. My brother who found Sid, his, his life has been forever changed. It's almost like he's frozen in that moment in time. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about it. Would love to see Thane Smyka arrested and charged duly. It would make me very happy. I'd be probably the happiest guy alive. Because of a terminal illness, I don't know that I'll live long enough to see a resolution in this case. But I would hope that I can, and I've never given up hope. from Akron, Eastern Colorado, graduated from CSU. You know, he had some things going on for him. Thane took the main room downstairs, and I had the bedroom upstairs. They felt that he was a good candidate for a roommate. They found after he did move in that he was not very sociable, and I think he was having trouble coming up with the rent money.